Thank you for joining me for composition book number four. We're altering these composition books, and in this particular one, I will be utilizing the cyanotype process to create the front and back cover. I'm doing what I can to put the wow back into the inexpensive composition book. Starting with watercolor paper, I will be cutting this to the exact size of the front of the book and the back of the book. And while I have this watercolor paper out, I decided to cut a tab to use in the book as well. I have my playing card here that I've notched two sides to, to allow me to have a template to create the top of my tab, measuring halfway in between those two cut spaces, and I'll punch my hole for that tab. And there we have the three pieces together that we're going to decorate. To, now to mix the cyanotype liquids, if you will. And the cyanotype is two chemicals, uh, potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate. The cyanotype process is just a slow-reacting um, photographic printing formulation that is sensitive to the ultraviolet or sunlight. So I'm mixing a cap full of each and I will put a link to where I purchased this in my description below. This is, I believe, the Jacquard solutions and they come in the two bottles. They store very well. Um, mix them when you get ready to use them. I will be coating all three pieces of paper here with this solution. And I have decided to just coat it uh, completely. Sometimes I put the painter's tape and you know allow myself a border. Sometimes I like to make it just messy. But in this particular instance, I've decided to cover the entire sheet of paper. I have been pressing some wildflowers out of my um, little garden space of wildflowers. <clears throat> and I will be placing those on this printed paper or on the coated paper. You need to do this cyanotype coating or use this formula in a dark room and away from a window because it does react to the sunlight. As I lay my flowers in the composition, the one thing that I have found by using dried pressed flowers, they become a little more transparent and make a very interesting print. So you'll see when, when we get them in the formula and pull them out. I'm laying them on a piece of glass. This comes from an inexpensive photo frame, two, the same size. Gives me two pieces of glass. I can lay my paper on the glass, put my composition on the paper, and clip the two pieces of glass together. For the tag, I'm utilizing a piece of string and baby powder as my resist. And I'm doing the same thing, putting it between, sandwiching it between two pieces of glass. And now I'll take it out for the sun. And it is a bright sunny day here in North Georgia. I am on the deck of my studio, which is atop my three-car garage which is detached from my house. So you can see what, what kind of environment I have here with the sun. Now I have a, just a roasting pan full of water. I'm adding a teaspoon or a cap full of 3% peroxide and dumping or rinsing my pieces in the water. I've pulled the plant material off of them, and I am dunking them in the water to get the final reaction. Now, I did rinse those first um, just in some plain water. That's not necessary. You can put them right in this, but I, I didn't want to bore you with the double process. The 3% peroxide in the water creates a much, much better print. So now that I have those complete, I will adhere them to the front and back cover. Prior to doing that, I will be inking around with black 
ink to frame it. And I decided to leave the black spine intact on the composition book. So I think that is going to look nice. And let me get this composition book coated in some Yes Paste. I'll put the link for that below as well. And we will adhere it with that Yes Paste. And I, I like using this Yes Paste because I can get the adhesive corner to corner and I have no mixed spots. So I'm just going to lay that down. And I will do that front and back. And once I have them both down, I will protect them and coat them with a layer of the hard coat Mod Podge. That hard coat is going to add just a little bit of sheen. And it sets up um, much nicer than, than regular glue and water. So let's set that aside to dry, and then I'll coat the back cover as well as the... I'm lost for words, as well as the tag. So I'm preparing those to put on while the other dries. So I have everything now adhered and coated. And I want to um, cover... There's a little area here where this paper didn't go exactly to the end. So instead of utilizing just that ink pad, which is not going to cover that composition book, I pulled out some black acrylic paint to just paint around that edge to cover up my missed cut. And I'll go around all of the outside edges to just keep everything congruent. And then I go back and do the same thing on the front, front cover. Then I had inked it, as you know, before. So this is just an extra little border that is being added with the acrylic paint. So that is done, trimming off any, any excess paper around the outside edge, making sure everything is neat and tidy. Going back where there may be a little edge of that book showing. I want to make sure everything is very tidy. Taking my baby wipe and just cleaning off that spine. And I am really liking the way this looks. And now for my closure, I have some Sorry Silk in blue. I'm going to cut a couple of links and glue that into my back cover. I'm going to make sure I get that centered so I've Hold out my ruler to double check myself. You know, you can eyeball it, but why not be accurate? Going to glue the sari silk down to create a tie front and back. I am utilizing glitter glue. Seems to be a little clogged up at present, but we'll get it enough out to get this glued down. And I will be gluing this piece to the back cover, and I will do the exact same on the front cover, which gives me two strings that I can tie together. I'm going to knot the ends of those to prevent them from raveling, and then they'll tie into a nice little bow. Now to cover the inside front and inside back, I am utilizing just plain scrapbooking paper. I have a bunch of this that I haven't used. I found this piece of blue dots. I think one of those blues matches the cyanotype quite well. So it is, I think, a good companion to create the inside cover. I will round off the 
two outside corners of this piece that I've cut. And I'll go back and just round off the corners of the book to match those exactly. I'm using the quarter inch round cut on my crocodile. I'm going to glue those in, and that is a complete on this particular book. Quick, easy to do, but creates a really interesting book, and I hope that you will give me a thumbs up if you think I put the wow into this composition book. I wish you could see it in person because that hard coat does really add something. I did go back and add a couple of pockets. You can see I added the diagonal pocket on the front cover as well as a belly band on the first sheet and this pocket on the back to add just some additional interest and some space to store things. So Thank you for joining me in my quest to alter all these composition books. The playlist is right here. And I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.